Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Lenovo laptop. This one is a Lenovo ThinkPad X380 Yoga. And in this video I'm going to take you on a step by step how you can open it up and how you can clean up the fan system, the heatsink and repaste your CPU. You should be doing your own seat cleaning and repasting once every year, a year, also 12 months because it is really important. These are have a really low profile, the fan system is really small so you can clog up really quickly. Depending how often you use, how many hours a day, if you use a six, seven hours a day, then you might want to do your repaste every 12 months. I would recommend eight months, but 12 months, you can open it up to see how dirty it is, and then you can push up the dates or lower the dates. All right, by replacing your thermal paste or cleaning the fan, you're not changing any modification on the system. It's gonna be the same way that you left it. So first thing first, you wanna power off, you want to flip it upside down. I'm going to go over the tools that I'll be using. Tool number one and the most important one is a screwdriver set. You're going to be using an iFix screwdriver set. From this tool set, you're going to be using a Phillips number one. If you get the pro set, they will include you with some tweezers and opening tools. If not, grab a guitar pick. For the opening tools, it comes handy to separate the case and covers. And we are going to be using a tweezers, a curved or straight tweezers. Very important one is an alcohol. 99% isopropylic or isopropylic alcohol. Uh, workshop towel. A workshop towel, it is very important to have. The reason is when you mix it with an alcohol, you put it on top or any liquid and you try to clean the components on the motherboard, the towel will rip apart and will not damage the capacitors on the motherboard on the CPU. So that's why I say use this one and don't use any microfiber towel. You need a good thermal paste. I'll be using an Arctic MX4. You can use the newer one, which is Arctic MX6, or you can go over the board and get the expensive Thermal Grizzly Fire Knot, which are really expensive, but one of the best performance. But I like the Arctic MX4 for these brands, and really good. But if you have the version 6, that's even better. All right. With all this on hand, we're going to get this started. On the bottom here, we're going to see a whole bunch of screws. Somebody already opened it and lost a screw and replaced it with a chrome screw down here. So that's that. We're going to remove the, the can thing right there. And now we're going to loosen up the screws because the screws will not come out entirely. So you just have to rotate and they become really wobbly right there. You want to do this to all of them, including the one in the middle. And if any of them just pops out, comes out, or you pull them up by accident, don't worry about it. You just push it back in when you close the lid. So go ahead and remove all of them or uh, loosen up. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the commentary. I appreciate that. If you guys, I was removing this other screw on this corner, it came out. So when I'm going to put it back in, I'll just pop it back in. So what I'm going to do, I can put the opening tool between these covers and lift it up or use your nails, just lift it up like that. Bring it up. Take this side out. So I use a toothbrush to clean up the dust mesh down here. And right away we can see the battery, the fan, the tiny heat sink right over there. So first we're gonna disconnect the battery. It's really hard to pull the battery, the connector back is right in there. So what I do, I remove two screws for the battery right in here on the bottom. That makes my life really easy. So remove these tiny two screws, grab the battery from down here, bring it up. Get a tiny hook there, bring it up, loosen up all those hooks, bring it upward a little bit. Once it's loosened up up here, you wanna pull it towards the front end of the laptop and you will disconnect the connector right there. These are really tough uh, cables, so don't worry about damaging it. Down here, we're gonna see the fan. We're gonna disconnect the fan cable. So we're gonna put a tweezers on the side of this jack. I don't wanna use pull the cables on this one. And we're gonna push it backward toward the fan, wiggle it around a little bit, and it should release itself like that. Once we have the fan disconnected, now we're gonna remove the heat sink. Remove the four screws on the heat sink or I will say loosen up because they have a C-lock on the screw. So loosen up the four screws. Now what you want to do, you want to just grab it like this, bring it up a little bit. The, fan, the specific cable goes around it, so you have to untangle them, lift it up, move this cable out of the way, and there we have it. 
And there we have the heat sink. The old thermal paste is really dried out. There's a, almost nothing in there. And on the side, it is dried out. So you can take this one outside, use a toothbrush to blow some air through here and clean up the fan system. And we are gonna clean up the thermal paste. Now to clean it up, first we're gonna grab a little bit of the workshop towel. We are gonna soak it in an alcohol. We're gonna first remove the excess of the thermal paste on the CPU, so wipe it up. Like that. And use the same towel to remove the excess of the thermal paste in here. You can use a dry part to do a second pass, clean up the rest. Once you're done with this one, you want to grab the thermal paste. You want to put a tiny line on the PCH chip, which is the secondary die, and another line on the main CPU die. So the reason that they have a two uh, crystal die is because the CPU is the one, the bigger die, the smaller die is called a PCH chip. Normally they are located in different side of the motherboard, but in this case it comes in the same chip. So that's the reason that there's a two die. Now what do you want to do? You want to grab this cable around the CPU, bring it down straight over, and hold it down gently and cross the screw the screw right on the heat sink. So that way the thermal paste evenly it spreads around on the CPU. There we go. Now you can just tangle down the cables. Around the CPU. Around the panel also. There we go. And connect the fan cables right inside the connector. Grab the battery. Before you put the battery in, you want to align the battery connector in front of it and you want to put it in straight inside the connector and pinch it in there. And then you want to put the hooks there on the bottom here and the one in here. And make sure the screw holes match and put the two screws on one on each side of the battery on the bottom corner. All right, now that we put the battery in place, the rest is really easy. Simply grab the bottom cover, bring it over, and put the, by the heat side in 10, 15 degree inside, in here and here, push it in with the tiny clips, and then let go of the, the rest, and just tighten up the screws. And this is how you can clean and service your Lenovo ThinkPad X380 Yoga laptop. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment or try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just gonna finish up putting up the bottom screws. If you see any gap open on the covers after you put the screws, just pinch them together and it will just snap into its place. And that's it for today's video.